Hi and welcome on this hopefully quick little tutorial on the use of the uh, FBM and multi FBM fractal. You can as always download it at mari.ideascale.com. Uh, just make sure that you download the right version for your Mari version because there might be different ones available, especially with later Mari versions. Um, each new layer more or less needs to be rewritten. So just make sure you got the right version. Um, and what is the FBM? Um, FBM stands for Fractal Brownian Motion and as a matter of fact MARI by default already has one that does exactly um, that kind of is based on the algorithm and that's the cloud one. So if we have a quick look here you can see you're pretty, probably familiar with it. Uh, you got your roughness, you got your size. Problem with this one is, um, especially if you're coming, say, from a random man uh, pipeline, and you might have your own FBM in random man, and you might not be familiar with these uh, very simplified controls because, as a matter of fact, like especially roughness, it encompasses multiple settings that you would normally have available. So if we just take a look at the new FBM, and depending on what MARI version you're using, this might appear in different places. For example, in MARI 2 standard, you might, it might appear under Fractal. So here it's under Idea Scale. Uh, so we, if you just look at the regular FBM, we can see we have a bit more control. We got the regular size. Um, we got the octaves, which just defines the, the, how much detail is in your fractal. And anything past three, you, it doesn't look like it does anything. But if we zoom in and we just increase it, you can still see some additional detail. But you can, you know, depending on your resolution, like four, five, six is already so much. You probably won't notice not that much of a difference. So just keep it at four right now. Um, the gain just um, multiplies each octave so you get more more detail in it. The lacunarity, if we zoom out, you can pretty much see what it does. It kind of defines the frequency jump between octaves. And finally the seed, just some random modification. Color AB and the regular transform and scale controls that you might know if you're using the procedural options pack. So this is really quick the single FBM and like I said it's you can pretty much get the same results with a um, FBM as you can get with a cloud but it gives you a bit more control. But let's just go on to the better one which is called the multi FBM and by default it will not look much different than the single one so we got a regular size controls octaves etc etc but we got a few more options down here which is handle A, handle B, handle remap and basically what we're doing with the handles here you can see I have a drop down menu and you can use another FBM to drive one setting from the main base FBM. So for example, if I just turn on the size, now I have a second FBM driving the size of the first one. And you can see the effect's already quite dramatic. And if we just play around with it, you can get a lot of different options. Like from signal, like the spherical kind of look to almost like weathered concrete and again just different playing with the different settings gives you different results and especially here uh, like a narrative you can get quite interesting nice really effect um, down here there's a clip negative and propagate clipping 
uh, if we just clip negative here, you can see we're getting a lot more isolated results. And that's basically, if you generate a noise, you get values both positive and negative. And with clip negative off, basically, if you have a negative value, it gets converted to positive. Um, and you have solid coverage, while clip negative, we only use what comes out by default as positive. Um, and the propagate clipping, we have to look, it won't do much here, except make it black, blacker. Um, but if we go to handle B, which is again, a second multi FPM, and we just set it to something like gain, you can see now I have this softness here in the area that previously was black. If I turn on propagate clipping in the handle A, it just goes black again and now I have the gain control only in the original area. But again the same thing here with clip negative and propagate clipping. You can just get more, more detail, more variation in it. So if we just have a look at different settings here. You know, different results. Keep playing with it. There's a lot of different options. I mean, if uh, for example, if I set it to lacunarity, um, turn this off. Quite a few different results set it to octave and you see with octave here it goes pretty gray that is because by default now we have an octave of zero in the black area of the noise and um, one in the white areas so not a whole lot happening here you might think Let's just turn off again see a bit more not very useful you might think. So if we go on further there's a handle remap and basically that does exactly what it says. It remaps the result of each handle A and B. So if I turn on A and set the new min, now I have a new min octave of 3, 3.755 but you know probably gets round anyway and you can set a max as well. So this is where it becomes a lot more useful. Almost a bit too noisy here. Let's turn on the gain again. And let's drive a second one with the size. Actually, And again, we can remap both A and B differently. And down here, there's a threshold and a soft clip. And this is basically exactly what you might know from the threshold um, adjustment layer that's on Idea Scale or in Photoshop. Basically, we're doing um, we're defining the pivot between black and white and by default the soft clip is at one but if we reduce it we get a lot less uh, gradients right, let me just turn this down here um, so you see it just goes fully black fully white and cuts out any any soft gray area. I'll just reset all this. Um, it's a bit of a secondary 
option here. Right now we have size in handle A and let's say gain in handle B. But what happens if we set both handles to size? Now basically we are multiplying again uh, two fractals with each other. So you're basically driving the main size with a fractal and the fractal here is driven by a secondary fractal. So we have, uh, if you think of it in a node view, you have two nodes um, chained up going into the main node. So some really interesting results and uh, again if we use the remap we can really make like this almost like brainy flashy results you know you have different sized features mainly from the two different fractals Um, going down further, again we get the color A, color B. So if you just need to quickly change it, it's pretty standard. And on the transform, again we have all the transform controls, but there's a few more checkboxes here which says transform base, transform handle A, and transform handle B. Uh, as you might imagine, I can apply any transform to the entire final fractal or well not the final fractal but each element separately so now I'm transforming base handle A and handle B but not the combined result but each separately so if I turn off handle base now I'm just transforming handle A and handle B while the main fractal here is unchanged And if I just want to change handle A, pretty straightforward, I can just change that one and give it a bit more of a direction, for example, or you know, rotate it, whatever. Just reset everything. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, just one word of advice, because there are First of all, the note is not written very effectively. I know that kind of because I bashed it together uh, actually on a flight. Um, so it's not very optimized. And secondary, obviously, there's at least three fractals in here. Um, so instead of just having one note here, just imagine you have three fractals. So it'll affect performance. Um, so I would not recommend keeping it live. Uh, I would cache it, uh, convert it to paintable, whatever. Um, just, you know, you don't want to take the performance hit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to show you some different results uh, with the accompanying settings. So you get the idea what it can do and hope it's useful.